are ready. Okay, I want to be a bit brief. Uh, I would like uh, where's Willis? Kwanza uta utasema vile imekuwa alafu nizungumze. Thank you very much for coming. Today we came to court for the court to issue a ruling on deferment of plea taking on the proposed charges that the state are trying to illegally bring against my client Jimmy Wanjigi. And uh, we informed the court that there are proceedings going on in the High Court and in one of the files the High Court has stayed any further proceedings or prosecutions in relation to the proposed charges until the petition filed in the High Court is heard and determined. And we invited the court to consider that ruling and at this stage to arrest its ruling and stay its proceedings in recognition of the High Court order. We did also inform the court that the matter in the High Court is coming up on the 19th of September and that we can report back to court on what the position of the High Court is once it considers these matters. And the court has a quiz to that request. So we are coming back on the 26th of September for further directions. But I must say this, it is important that we note that we are operating within the purview of the rule of law. And as opposed to acting Inspector General of Police Convict Masiangeli, we obey court orders as and when they are issued. Convict Masiangeli is a notorious uh, abuser of the court process. He doesn't respect court orders. He disobeyed seven court orders. He has been convicted. He is supposed to be sentenced tomorrow. As opposed to him, as we believe in the judicial process, we submit to the courts and the authority and we respect their orders. And you also witnessed today in court, even the state representatives who are not averse to respecting the court orders. And this should be a lesson to convict Masiangeli. You need to report to court tomorrow to be convicted and sentenced to committee. If not committee, Kodiaga. If not Kodiaga, Manyani. And the Kenyan citizens have a responsibility to arrest you and to take you to any of those facilities in defense of our constitution. Thank you very much. That's all I want to say. We also have with us the president of Bunge La Mwanainchi, Yakaranda. Uh, some of the members of that Bunge had also equally been illegally arrested and arraigned in court on uh, similar issues, allegedly because they associated with uh, Mr. Jimmy Wanjigi. Uh, so they were arrested and they planted fake explosives on them and purported to charge them for that offense and uh, allegedly for creating disturbance. So the president of Bunge, Jakaranda, is here and he can talk to you. Yes, uh, uh, I'm called uh, William Jahom, Bunge La Mwanainchi president. Uh, uh, Jakaranda headquarter. So since 8899, tulikuwa tunafuata hii maneno ya sirikali kunyanyasa watu. Na tumeona wako na tabia zingine which are not supported by our constitution. Abduction, killing, arresting, and uh, shooting innocent Kenyans. Sai walishika His Excellency uh, Jimmy Wanjigi wakati walimshika walimnyanyasa kwa sel sasa namwambia serikali waache hiyo tabia sisi tuko na mheshimiwa Jimmy Wanjigi bumper to bumper mpaka 2027 thank you very much sande sana sande um, sana as uh, my good wakili has said we are people who obey the law we are law-abiding citizens of this republic. And we are here attending court on trumped-up charges. These police, and let me not say, I want to say William Ruto's police, have all the time to tafuta crime on innocent people. But 71 young men and women died on the streets. I've not seen one person brought to court to account for those deaths. There are people who are found in a quarry, young women. We are told there was a man who escaped from prison. We have never seen anybody brought to this court and charged with those crimes. We have seen 
friends like Bob Jagge and the Longton Twins and several other names that have now been made public that have been abducted. Bob Jagge was abducted after seeing me in Kamukunji police station where I was actually illegally taken. And we, this is what, four, five weeks? Five weeks now. Five weeks. We have yet to know where he is. And the long term twins, we pray for their families. The people who are committing these crimes are not before these courts. They are not charged. This is what you call embedded impunity. And that impunity is being perpetuated by one William Samoy Ruto, who has decided the Constitution is not his true north. He will not follow it. He will ignore it. He will ignore the oath that he took. This is a delinquent of the Constitution in power. And I want to tell him, as I've said over and over again, mene mene tekel, it has happened. No matter what you do, no matter what you try and do, your time to rule, to govern this country is over. It is over. And the country is coming for you, not just Jimmy. We are coming for you because you are a delinquent of our laws. It is actually a shame to imagine you as a president of this great republic. You do not represent who we are, our values, our true essence of Kenya. You do not. And because of that, know that your time and the time for honoring yourself is very soon coming to an end. Asante Nisana. Maybe just a question before you leave. We, we know that there are 70, uh, 70 children who are missing. Uh, and uh, you've spoken about uh, the yes. government not following up. Uh, what can you say about it? Yes, I, see, I saw the DCI uh, trying to respond to those claims that those are children who did not come to school. I think we know the credibility of that DCI now. Yeah? There are people who come and plant fake evidence. There are people who have been part of killing Kenyans here. I want to tell that this year, we do not believe you. Those mothers who are crying for their children are not crying out of emptiness. <laughs> Don't tell us stories. We want to know why Kenya has become the killing fields under this regime. We are the killing fields under the Ruto regime. Why are we the killing fields? One day, and that day is coming soon, you shall all answer to why you've created the killing fields of Kenya. Asante Nisana.